Hi guys, it's Justin here, and I'm going to show you how to load the filament, feed it through for the first time, or just even change the filament on a RapidLite 200 3D printer. Okay guys, so the first thing I did is I came in here to Rapid Tear Host, I connected the printer, and then I came down here and I turned the extruder on. This button here, the temperature will come up this preset mark and then I also turned the fan on so it's off when it has the line through it and then it's on when the line is not through it so then this is the manual extrude um, button here so once your temperature gets up to this um, preset mark here like where the little diamond is this line matches up with that you can come over to the printer Okay, so now we got the printer here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to push down on this blue button here and then release this guide here so I have some space. Go ahead and cut that off. Okay guys, so I'm just going to feed this filament in. I kind of want it somewhat straight. Um, so it goes straight down here and out the bottom. So I made sure it's clear there's no um, remaining filament in here so it's because um, I took it out so you can see just with my hand pressure um, I'm pressing the filament out and these screws I haven't even tightened you can see I'm um, wobbling this around so just hand pressure it should be able to come out like that and then go ahead take your um, allen key and Snug it down. Um, do a little on one and then a little on another screw or whatever your preference. Just get a little snug, not too tight. So I'm only using three fingers here and I'll, I'll go with that first. So now um, I'm going to go into program and I'm going to hit, I'm selecting, oh, that was the Z axis. Okay. I'm going to go to the extruder and select um, extrude 50 um, millimeters of filament. Okay, clear this off so you can see it better. I'll try again. And it seems to be going, and I didn't make it, you know, too tight. Just, just snug. Um, I can give a little like eighth a turn. I don't know, you guys can play around with it, but um, I found this works pretty good, just um, light pressure, not too much. So I did make a um, other video on the alignment of the little cog wheel in here. Um, so when, uh, when you select it to move the filament, it's going to spin this little wheel. And if that wheel isn't aligned up properly, it's not going to feed your filament out. Um, I'm not sure how many people had an issue with that. I took mine apart. I made a video on how to do that. Um, it's not too bad. Not too hard to do. And mine was fine. So I didn't have to adjust it. But some, I was reading some comments um, online. And some people did have to adjust there. So you um, may want to check that out if you're having issues. Um, another issue that... Um, one of the guys I've been talking to online had was this little um, housing here, this plastic housing um, right in this area it was pinching one of these wires um, so it was kind of like um, bouncing back and forth the, <clears throat> the filament it was going in and out, in and out so if you have an issue like that you may want to um, take this housing apart and check your check your wires. I had to cut away um, my the black little shielding here to see up in this area but seems to be okay now I, I might secure these wires a little better in the future but um, that's how to load the filament if you guys have any questions like I said let me know um, subscribe to my channel give me a like hope this helped you um, any suggestions for future videos let me know Alright, bye guys. See ya.